Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a garden tour. This is inside and outside. I'm first going to start with all my edibles inside and what I'm germinating at the moment. And then we'll move on to my house plants and then we'll move on to outdoors. So today you guys will be seeing very shortly on what um, seeds I just got. I also got some new plants from um, Plant Barn as well, uh, down here in Botany. So yeah, let's see what I got. So I do have a few tips on how I save when um, growing my own edibles. So one, I save jam jars and um, every other glass jar that I can get my hands on. I wash these out. Some, sometimes I peel these off as well. And then I store my seeds in here with the lid on. Um, I currently have these from Countdown. They're really good um, pumpkins. I got them growing. I will insert a video here. The pumpkins that I showed you guys the seeds from. Um, sunflower, pumpkin, sunflower, and my dying cucumber, which is not going to survive. And then we've got pumpkin again, and, but look at that, it's already molding. Too much water. Then we have some more um, sunflower, and then we have pumpkin as well. Um, and yeah, so I've got thousands and thousands of seeds um, from one pumpkin, oh, sorry, half a pumpkin. And yeah, they're just growing so well at the moment. I have four pumpkins growing. One actually died on me and then somehow I got pulled back to life. So these pumpkins are really good. I don't know what brand these are. Um, I forgot to write it down, but they free pumpkins anyway. So if you guys ever get um, food from Countdown that have seeds, save them, dry them out, save them, pop them away, and then get it out whenever you want to grow. I also have these. Uh, it's a bit hard to see. Um, yeah, so I'll get these out. These are capstans. Capsicum plant um, seeds that I got from just food from the countdown from the supermarket, and yeah, I currently have these growing everywhere. About 14 plants growing just from those seeds, just from one um, capsicum down at, from the countdown. I will insert a video as well on my germinating pro progress, um, so you guys will see that. I might have left these for a bit too long, as you can see there's a little bit of mould, but <laughs> that is a um, capsicum seed and I thought I'd just try my luck and look, I have so many growing. <laughs> I have transplanted them into little pots that I got for free and now I'm moving on to mandarins. I'm going to grow a mandarin tree and this is how you do it. So just recording for you guys since I forgot to do this during the day but this is what they look like here quite nice and thick. the other seeds that I have I have sweet corn tomatoes um, sunflower seeds which are also in insert video here is another These are sunflower seeds. Yeah, as you can see, there's actually a sunflower seed here. So this is what it is. This is what it looks like, sorry. Um, and they're growing really well, considering they're in such a small pot. Like, it's not even a brick. So easy to grow. Quick and easy. Um, liquids that I use on my plants, this is my vegetables, my house plants whatever is the Thrive Natural Seaweed. This is from Yates. And I just pop this into water and then I will 
one of my plants with it. So this is what the plant feeder looks like. This is what this is. Very good for plants. So, so far they're surviving. So it's pretty good. So yeah, let's get on to my house plants. This is the peace lily. I got probably about that big. And now it's growing some nice healthy leaves. This is my other plant which I'm currently growing. This is a spider plant and I did not know that they flowered. So that's interesting. You can also propagate off these as well by um, submerging them into water and then they'll grow with roots and then you can plant it and have another spider plant. And I got that also probably about that big. So a nice healthy leaves. These, this plant got attacked by aphids as well. So now it's doing all right. This is another plant. I'm not too sure what's this called. I think this is, my mum said it's a china dog, but it's not a china dog. I forgot the name. So if I find it, I will list it now. But this I got, it was dead, like seriously dying. It was probably about that big. Um, and it only had a few leaves. And now, I do wipe this down every now and then. And now, as you can see, oh, let's get a bit of one. We have a new growth. And the leaves are just luscious. This you don't need, this plant doesn't need um, much sun. As long as it's got good soil and quite moist. So yeah, we got some lovely green leaves. And I can't wait for this to get bigger. This is also my favourite plant of the house. I don't know, I just like it. And I really, really want to get some more plants. Like, look how big that is, that's so nice. I also have one succulent um, in the toilet. It's a bit dying at the moment. Um, but I want to get a nicer one. It's just not big enough at the moment. And yeah, it's just currently that succulent. And this is the other one that I'm growing in the bedroom. I need help. Um, I don't really like this one. It's not my favorite because it's really small. Um, and it feels real fake, but it is real. And yeah, I just want to grow more. And we painted this pot as well. I got the kids too, so it was a bit of DIY. But yeah, I was sleeping, so let's go check out the other. I also have, uh, what's this? Cilantro, um, coriander. I'm waiting for these to flower and then um, seed. And then I will take these out and plant some new vegetables or some herbs. I think these these pots are really good for herbs. Not so much um, like vegetables or anything like that. And then over here we have some strawberries. <laughs> it's not even summer yet. It's a week away from summer and these strawberries pretty much have had it. Like there's a few. Oh, that's a bit yucky so I'll take that one off. We got so much in. We got so much in spring, and now they're just like dying back. So I am gonna redo these and get some fresh soil in and water them. Um, and they've been attacked by something. So yeah, get these in another pot. We've got two money trees. Apparently these are really good to bring in money for the house. We got these from Daniel's father. Well, they're actually Daniel's father's, but that's what we have in the house at the moment. Over here we have some watermelon that I really want to plant. These are super healthy and I love watermelon. And then over here we've got a tomato and we've got so many pots free. 
And at the back we've got a cap skin. I don't know why I bought another cap skin being that I have like 14 cap skin seating at the moment, so I don't know why I did that. I don't know what we're going to do over here. I think we're going to rip it all out, um, but then I want to bark it. I don't know what to do, but I'll update you guys in another video once I decide what I want to do. So yeah. And then over here we ripped all this out. It was just bush and it was really atrocious. And now we just left it to be grass. And it's like healed over quite nicely. It was probably about as bad as that. And now it's all clear. So that's pretty cool. So we have pumpkins that I showed you guys the seeds from um, sunflower pumpkin sunflower and my dying cucumber which is not gonna survive and then we've got pumpkin again and but look at that it's already molding too much water then we have some more um, sunflower and then we have pumpkin as well over here we have some spring onion which I'm actually just going to rip out and spring onion there and use those somewhere else and then we have this massive garden over here which I actually want to rip everything out and <coughs> rip everything out and then leave as grass to heal over because this is such a shady spot but you don't, there's like, you won't get anything growing here, so we'll pull that out um, and just let the grass grow over. For our garden tour, um, our edibles and our inside farms. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Enjoy. Don't forget to give this thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.